Hello my friends and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a plan with me and this time we're going to be using a couple of different things. So I have this foil bundle and this is from Scribble Prints Co and I show, I'm show i going to be showing these to you very soon in a haul video but here they, here they are getting used already. This is why I do my haul videos in sections because I can't not use the stuff that I buy. This is the kit and this is by Keytown. It is super cute. It is not exactly what I expected but I really really like it and it is obviously um, Monsters Inc. So I'm going to start out as always putting down the washi. This is adorable washi. So if you've ever seen Monsters Inc, which most people have, especially if you have kids, these are the doors that they go through to scare the kids and get the um, scream for powering up their power plant. It's a really, really cute um, idea to use as the bottom washi and I absolutely love it. And because I liked it so much, I didn't want to put any of the foil on top and then speaking of the foil so I'm still trying to figure out my lighting and I did film all the way through to the end putting all the foil down but then when I was editing this video it just looked terrible there was too much light too much glare and so I ended up cutting that part off I will insert a picture at the end of the video showing you what it looked like with the foil down but I did use that Scribble Prince Co foil on this particular kit because I just wanted to try them both out and see how they looked together and they looked really cute so I ended up putting foil on top of all of the glitter headers and then like the full box overlays on the full boxes that I put across the top and it, it does look really cute in person but the lighting just didn't do it any justice, so I didn't want to leave that part in because I thought it looked terrible. Anyway, so back to the kit. I ordered kind of like a grab bag situation from Keytown Creations. I talk about it a little bit in the haul, but since you haven't seen the haul yet, I'll talk about it here. So they have an option which is a little bit cheaper for you uh, rather than picking out kits because they have a ton of kits that I want a ton like I can tell you that there's probably a handful of kits that I didn't like or that weren't not that I didn't like them they weren't my style so most of the kits in their shop I absolutely adore even this one is cute I wouldn't pick it for myself they have other I think they had another Monsters Inc one that was cuter that I would have picked for myself but this one's fine so they had an option which was that they would Pick the kits for you. It was a little bit more, I mean, sorry, a little bit less expensive than picking them out yourself. And, but there, and none of them, none of the kits that I got were ones that were no longer available. They were all kits that you can still get. And, and one of them was actually a new release. So I picked that option just to see if I would like it or not. And then what ended up coming were three kits and all three of them were ones that I wouldn't have picked for myself, including this one. I wouldn't have picked this one either. I show them in the haul, so you'll see the other two in the haul, but um, this one is cute. I'm going to tell you, I, I do like it. I like the way it looks when I, when I put it down. I wanted to try it out because I'd never used the kit from these guys before. So I put it down. It's beautiful. The colors are bright, vibrant, cut great. Um, super easy to peel up and put down. Um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I mean, all the things that you love about your kits is fine. It's absolutely fine. It's just the art style isn't my preferred art style. And um, the other two are totally not me at all. Like when you watch the haul video, you'll see what I mean, that, that they're totally not me. But this worked out fine. And then I got the um, a bunch of foil bundles from Scribble Prince Co. that I wanted to try out and that's what these are here and I'm kind of going over and showing you some of the things of where I thought I wanted to put those and I ended up not using about 90% of it because I'm not a big foil person. I never have been. I'm I'm starting to become one because I'm finding that I really like the way it looks like especially over not busy boxes but I do like the way it looks over some of the less busy boxes. I think it looks really pretty and it accentuates the kits really nicely. So I will be like, I carry it in the shop. I make it all the time my own. I design my own foil packets, um, bundles, I should say. They're not packets. My own foil bundles. But I don't generally use them a lot because I find the, the foil to be kind of distracting to me. But I do know that people love them. I had the bundles with the foil. You know the whole thing. You know. You know my shop. So you know what I have. And so now I decided I wanted to try other people's foil. 
I have my own foil and I always think that there's always something wrong with my foil. <laughs> I always think that. So I wanted to try other people's foil because I wanted to see what I consider to be one of the professional shops um, because they're not considered small, a small business anymore. They're, they're like mainstream, big business, do a lot, a lot, a lot of um, orders. They do a lot of releases. So Scribble Pins Co. is one of them. Glam Planner is another one that I tried out. So I wanted to check out the foil from Scribble Prince Co. And that is what I did. And I really like it. I think it's very pretty. But there's certain things in there that I wouldn't use and didn't use because I'm not a big fan of scripts in foil because then I can't see them. And that's probably just personal preference. I like to be able to see the scripts when I put them down and be able to read them easily without having to like get close and move the the planner around and adjust it for the lighting. I, I just it just irritates me. So I try not to use a lot of scripts that are foiled, even though yes, I do add them to my kits because people love them. And I know I've seen plenty of plan with me videos where people use um, the scripts that are foiled and it's like their go to thing. It's just not my go to thing. So don't think I'm saying anything against people who use foiled scripts because obviously I carry them. So I, I love you. I love you. I just don't use them myself. So I did try though putting some down in this particular spread from Scribble Prince Co. That's another one of those things that I probably won't use. However, my daughter loves, loves, loves foil. So anything I don't use and by my daughter, I don't mean she's young. She's an adult. She has a child of her own. Anything that I don't use, I'm going to just pass down to her. So she's getting like a whole bunch of foil from all these different things that I've been using because there is quite a lot in there that I won't use and I know that she will. So it's not going to go to waste by any means. She's most definitely going to use it because she loves foil and she's just, just finally getting back into planning again. So for her birthday, her birthday was this month. I bought her this planner right here, exactly the same as mine, only I think she got a different cover. I can't remember what cover she got. So I got her the TPC planner for her birthday, and I bought her a bunch of kits for her birthday. And then she's been collecting her own kits. In the meantime, she's been going out and um, purchasing stuff because, you know, Michaels carries a lot of the, like, um, sweet kawaii design. And now they're carrying Once More With Love. So she went out and bought a few of the packs from them. She's starting to build up her sticker collection. So let's see what it, it was tonight. Earlier this evening, we got together, we had a little planning session and we put down for the first week in September. So we have the first week of September done, which won't be a plan with me because I did it with her. And I was really excited to for us to do one together. And we used the some little things is what we ended up using. So this is pretty much almost the end of this. And um, I would keep telling you about my fantastic planning session, but I'm going to run out of time here because I didn't finish by putting on the foil. So I'm just going to put down the little deco pieces we can finish this conversation another time. Just know that I'm super excited that my daughter is now planning with me and we're having our own little planning sessions and it's super, super fun. Tomorrow is Mimi's babysitting day. So I'm going to have my little granddaughter tomorrow while they go off to the fair and I will be playing more in my planners. So that is it. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I'll insert a picture at the end. Thank you so, so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.